What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back with another video. Here we have a Sony Trinitron KV-32 uh, FS120, if I remember correctly. Back. Not the, not the front, but the back. And I'll go and turn the lights on for better lighting effect right right up right above the the set so again here we have the sony trinitron kv-32 fs120 i'll put some trash on top of it i'll put that on the floor but here I, actually you know what we'll take this over here on the carpet and we'll turn these lights on instead which are going to be way brighter because they're bigger. There we go. Not as good, but better. Plus, it helps with the window. So, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the back. Not the front. Not, not with the tube assembly. And, as you can see, there's no motherboard inside of it, except half of the original motherboard is just cut off in the back. So, the reason why I have this is because I found the set outside sitting next to a trash can. Now, originally, looking back at the original video when I found this thing, I thought the only issue with it was that the back panel was off. When I found it, the back panel was off, but the front was there, the tube was there. The remote, in fact, was right next to it on a on a stem which i grabbed the remote i have it upstairs i'm using it with my plasma tv it works fine it even has a couple of duracells in it that should have been expired back in 2023 but they still work in 2024 which is funny it clearly shows that this set hasn't hasn't been used in much in much years where the duracells still are working after the expiration date listed for them so Basically, I got excited, long story short, that I was going to get a 32-inch CRT that probably is fully functional because when I came, when I first originally found it, I looked down here, I noticed, okay, there's no power cord. Okay, no big deal. I can literally just wire up, an, uh, wire up a new one. Then I realized I, the motherboard is intact because I can see... All the inputs and the S video, all of that's still there. So that's all intact, right? Except the power cord. But again, I could just easily wire one up. I have plenty of power cords. I could probably just pull one off a vacuum cleaner, which in fact, I have one right here. I'm just using it for my speaker system temporarily. But I could literally just use that plug right there, which is going to be more than enough for this thing. And plus, it's a really long cord. So, after some time, I came back to it, and I decided to have a look inside since the back panel was off of the set when I first found it. So, I pulled the back off of the set next to the dumpster, basically just did this and it cracked it open a little bit. And then I easily got really quickly, what's it called? Things changed really quickly once I pulled the back off the set. So the front of the chassis with the whole plastic in the tube, the tube was still in there all right, but the back of the tube was necked, which means it was basically broken off. The yoke was gone, which clearly shows signs of a scrapper or something like that over there. And then once I looked in there, I noticed that the easily identifiable uh, piece of motherboard in the back that uh, proved to me that the motherboard was still intact well, there was only a little piece of it. Now, it wasn't this tiny piece. There was still way more. It was, like, maybe from right here. It had the flyback transformer area on it, but the flyback wasn't on there. Someone twisted it off because on the motherboard, you could clearly see the contacts of the flyback have been clearly grabbed on and twisted right off the board. And uh, that piece of tiny little board was probably, like, from right here to right here and then it was maybe like this long and then it was cracked at the at the end that's the only piece of board i found in it everything else was completely destroyed out of the tv 
Again, the front, the tube was gone. So then I started to question myself that, well, I mean, I'm no longer going to have a functional FS120. But I just, I just decided to grab the back of the TV and the front of the TV. I was going to remove the CRT and maybe turn it into a cat house or something like that and just have it sit in the corner somewhere. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. When I came the next day, it was snowing and, and raining. So, I mean, it didn't really matter because there was nothing inside of it. So basically this whole area was snowed on, which I don't really care about. I, I completely washed this thing with uh, disinfecting wipes and you can see all the original dust and dirt was all removed from it. As you can see, I scraped it up a little bit while I was cleaning the whole thing. But uh, when I came back to get it, to remove the CRT and grab the front and the back, the basically the front of the TV with the CRT was gone it wasn't there anymore the back however was still there so then i just decided you know what i've had enough of this so let's just grab the back and i'll see what i can do with the back and the front of the tv i don't know where it went with the crt it wasn't there again so oh by the way for the remote i grabbed it as soon as i saw this thing i wasn't able to grab the actual set because it was probably going to be too heavy so that's why i left it over there for a little bit but I did grab the remote again. I'll show you the remote in a qu in a quick second. As soon as I just get done reviewing this thing. And yeah. So again the front of the set with the whole tube. Wasn't there. So again I just grabbed the back of it. And then I got home. And then I was just going to basically just do it like this. But then I noticed this cutout area here at the bottom. And then these actually stand off the floor. These would originally go into the front of it, but again, the front was gone when I came back to actually save the whole thing. Just get rid of the tube, obviously. But then I noticed again this hole at the bottom, so I was just going to basically put some felt pads down at these uh, plastic pieces and then just put the thing down, face down like this. And then there you go. You have the door right there. You have the window vents right there, and you have the other window vents right there, and then the back is completely sealed off, which is good to put against a wall or something like that. And then you got the roof, of course. But one thing, it kind of looked off without having some ports in the back, <laughs> even though it wasn't functional. Sorry about my nose, but... The reason why I think the, the board just kind of snapped in half from the scrapper was trying to pull everything out of it. There's like five, yeah, five, three, four, five. Five screws holding this back port, back part. And I think it just, that's why it just snapped right off. But the actual back was gone. Now, now I can prove that this thing has been like this since I found it the first time. Because when I rewatched the video, I noticed that the the UHF, I mean the VHF slash UHF uh, antenna port was missing. So you can you can also see Sony designed designed it to go designed it to go really well because there's like little slots in there where the antenna port can just slide right through. But again, hold on. <coughs> but again, after rewatching the original footage when I found this thing, the UHF was completely gone, and of course the power cord, but then I noticed that this thing was already destroyed before I even found the thing, because again, this port was missing. And what happened with the rest of the motherboard, I just cut it off, and I just cut, I just left the port ports on here. And the rest of the motherboard is somewhere in the garage. You can see some of them are damaged, but some of them are still okay. I might be able to reuse them. And it basically just sits like this. Now, I still have yet to get some decorations inside, but... You can clearly see that the back was just pulled right off. There's still screws in here. 
some screws did give broke some plastic off there's another screw the whole top did come off but yeah what i thought was going to be a working set would which really just turned out to be this really quickly and again sony you can see the back is really scraped up from cleaning and all that i don't know why the stupid light mode thing turned on night mode why is it still on night mode? There's there's a good amount of light. Why is it recording in night mode all of a sudden, bro? Great, now the quality is going to be really bad, bro. I hate these 15, 15 stupid night modes and these stupid focuses. They're really bad. I don't know why. But you can see on the back, still got the original UL certified... And the main model number, KV-32FS120. So yes, he did memorize that model number. 120 volts, 60 hertz, and 175 watts. That 175 watts really surprised me. It's crazy to see that a CRT from, that's 32 inches from 2005, is 175 watts. Usually these would be like 300 watts or something like that. It really surprised me when I saw that this thing only pulled 175. And even though this this Dell Ultra Sharp right here that I have for my, for my man, I keep on stuttering for my 780 setup, this thing pulls 180 watts max. That's five more than the 70. I mean, 32 inch CRT. It's crazy, but I don't know why the wattage is so low on this thing. But that's really good. You can see the serial number here. You can go ahead and take that. Obviously, the TV's long gone. BA6 chassis, and then it's from April 2005. But, yeah, you can see some missing screws right there, which I think were also screws, and then all of that stuff. Again, I'll show the remote in just a sec. We'll flip the thing over. We'll put it over here where there's more light again. And you can see the inside, all the official Sony stuff. Sony Trinitron, there's the part numbers, I'm guessing. But, yeah. And again, there's the bottom part. You can see there's still some broken plastic pieces. I did find some kind of broken plastic piece right here. I don't know what this goes to. I haven't super glued it back onto the set wherever it came off of. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but you can see the motherboard. I just put the existing five screws back in there. But yeah, it's it's really sad, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, that's basically the back. I'll go ahead and make the thumbnail shot. I'll just do it from the back like this because... I mean, there really isn't anything that you can... There isn't really anything much from the front. Alright, and I'll, I'll go show you the remote. Real quick. Here, maybe if I focus on that, maybe the stupid night mode will turn off. Alright, here, let me go show you the remote. As well as my 2004 Sony Wega Plasma TV. Which, by the way, that... uh. That train tron would have been a, would have also been uh, what's it called, a Wega set, which makes it even more sad. Here it is, two thousand four, still working, uh, Sony Wega, plasma TV, and here's the remote that I got with that uh set, and the remote still functions fine. Except the only thing that doesn't really function really well, I have this thing unplugged right now is the only thing that doesn't function is the power button i tried clicking that down really hard it didn't go but you can see this remote was in horrible condition when i found it but this thing cleaned up really well i put some fresh energizers in there so you could see but yeah really cool remote volume c doesn't really stick down really well or make great contact which clearly shows that some dirt has gone inside but it's fine and here's the original duracells that 
were in the remote. See, 2023. These still work. They still work. That's what was originally inside of this remote when I found it. Usually every single TV that I find with a remote next to it, if someone cares enough to throw that out next to it, if someone decides to save it, they almost always have free batteries inside of them. And this was the same case for that Trinitron, but even though expiration 2023, the battery still worked. It's That clearly shows how, how long it must have been sitting somewhere. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Just want to make that quick video. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later and goodbye.